you walk into the game, there's a group of characters and it represents um, loyalty and groups and they've basically each got a box with a secret in and you can choose whether to put a padlock and keep that secret safe or you can hinder the situation by breaking the box and exposing the secret. I'm Dr Sarah Hodge, I'm a lecturer in cyber psychology here at Bournemouth University. We in psychology collaborated with Creative Technology to develop a game where we could actually measure moral decisions. So we were using psychological theory and then getting something developed so we could look at it in a, like a realistic game scenario. We're finding that there's sort of like learning that takes place and planning and they might be considering what they want to do before they actually do it. There's loads of interesting stuff coming out. I think the fact that they were thinking about what they wanted to do was really interesting. Nothing worrying yet. People did tend to help rather than hinder. So looking at cyber psychology we can use it for research so we've got lots of different other research projects with it at the moment looking at um, sort of the game itself and what participants might think of the game and getting them to evaluate it also looking at thinking about them looking at their own avatar like what avatar they'd be and what they're bringing to the game so there's loads of other research we are actually doing with the game itself